Most birds have remarkable vision and hearing, but what about their sense of smell? Long ago, it was believed that birds had very little olfactory capabilities, as there was seemingly little use for it. But today, we know that this is absolutely untrue. Birds do have a sense of smell, but it varies greatly between species. Let's take a look at the sense of smell in five different birds. Turkey vultures play a vital role in keeping ecosystems healthy. They are able to find carrion with their highly advanced sense of smell. It is so sophisticated that they are able to detect a few parts per trillion of odor beneath a forest canopy. Basically, they can smell their food when it's one mile away. Imagine being able to smell your dinner cooking when you are that far away from it. Their nostrils, or nares, are large and lack a septum, making them see-through. This allows air to flow unobstructed to the smell receptors in the nasal cavity. From there, this information is transmitted to the very large olfactory lobe in the brain. Number two on the list is the kiwi. These flightless and nocturnal birds of New Zealand use their long bills to probe into soil in search of earthworms, insects, and invertebrates. Their eyesight is poor, but they make up for it with a superior sense of smell and touch. Like the turkey vulture, their olfactory lobe is enormous. They are the only bird in the world to have their nares at the tip of their bill instead of at the base. Their sense of smell and ability to sense vibrations allow them to find food in complete darkness, under leaf litter, or in the ground. And yes, they do get dirt up their nares and have been known to snuffle and snort in an effort to clear it out. Next on the list, is the hummingbird. It was always thought that hummingbirds had no sense of smell, selecting flowers based on bright colors and tubular-shaped blooms. After all, their olfactory lobe is very small. It was only in 2021 that a study found that hummingbirds do have a sense of smell, but it's not used for nectar foraging. Instead, it's used to detect defensive chemicals like formic acid and pheromones of ants. In this study, they showed no response to chemicals from honeybees. Though there is still much to be learned, so far we know that the primary purpose of a hummingbird's sense of smell is to detect potential threats and not to find food. The crested auklet is a goofy-looking seabird found on the remote islands and coastline around the Bering Sea. These birds have a unique, citrus-like odor that is thought to smell like tangerines. The purpose of the scent is believed to repel parasites, indicate stress levels, and of course, to attract a mate. To inspect a potential suitor, a female pushes her beak into the male's neck feathers where the scent is the most concentrated. Females choose males who emit the strongest scent. It is rare for birds to use scent for mate selection, but crested auklets have perfected this with their natural tangerine perfume. Last on the list are tube-nosed seabirds, such as albatrosses, petrels, and shearwaters. They eat mostly fish, squid, and krill, which they find through their sense of smell. The problem with these menu choices is that their distribution is unpredictable and patchy. That's not a problem, though. The squid and fish give off oils that float on the water, which then draws in the birds. But what makes this all the more incredible is that the birds can smell this from about 12 miles away. And when krill are eaten by fish, they give off chemicals, also letting the birds know the location of both. This topic is simply fascinating, and there is much more to explore in the world of avian olfaction. What other birds do you think should be on this list? Let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll make a part two to this video. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.